So uh, the question is, like, when you track the metrics to understand what you thought would bring success, when did you stop tracking the metric and just implement it into the team? And I think the answer to that question, I don't ever stop tracking the metrics. I don't think that I've crack the code for good on what the best sales process is. So we're always tracking metrics. We're always trying to figure out, can we get better? Can I get you know more sales and how do I do that? And, and I tell sort of everybody when I, when I hand them, so I, I walk through one of my sales training, uh, sort of a, a call intro and, and how I expect every single person, and there's probably about a half a dozen, if not more people in this room that have been through this call intro training, how I expect you to open up every single call, every single time you pick up the phone to dial out to a new business business. And again, I don't care if you're if you're in a highly transactional sale where I expect three or four a day, or you're in a sale where I expect, you know, one sale a quarter or one sale every six to eight months. This is how I want you to open the phone call because it's how you get to the decision maker. And so when you say track the metrics, all I tell people is if you find a better way, prove it. If you can prove it, your way becomes the way. Because there's no, it would be silly of me to think that the way that I teach people to do it is the best way. It's the best way that I've figured out thus far, but it doesn't mean there's there's not a better way. So so we never stop tracking metrics. We we always want to see if there's a way to improve on what we have.